Hello, here I am, Carmel Quintana, again to present my evidence of showing the dinosaur fossil that I have discovered. Digging a foundation is real. Once again, I have uh, data that was done by a CT scan uh, research program. To start it off, I'll actually show the fossil itself where I'm holding it in my hand where you could actually see the indention of, of the fossil bird with his eyeball coming down. And like I said, it's the bird that's you know sitting in the middle. When you come down to right here, you can actually see the pictures that were done by uh, photography camera place stand what amazing I've never seen something come out like this which again you can see the eyeball you can see the ear you can see it's perfect neck structural that remains its, its former position come around with the jaw or beak with little tiny teeth right below it former I think it's a tail but I don't know if it is but other than that you can see all its hind legs and all his bones from his body and you come to here where the CT scan was done got it to where the f formation of the fossil itself you can see the how the rock is formed right here it's still the same position of how it's done right here of the actual fossil then you come down to here and you still see the the same position of the picture of the fossil bird in here right here and then you can see where the scan came through it show the skull of it you know the eyeball got the front arms this is to believe that, that uh, a professor at the college said that he's an invertebrate zoologist, biologist, said that it could have been smashed at one time due to believe it could be 250 million years old from the evolution of the transformation of birds or uh, reptiles to birds. And then you keep on coming down more where the scan keeps going through. You can actually see the bones of the, of the forehead, which shows up here where you see the fossil bird and his head is exactly the same position of the scan that goes through. If you come here more, you can see the scan of the forehead of an indention of the eyeball lid, which you can see the, where the eyeball socket was, perfectly in the position of, of the spot where the bird is in, in the picture. Then you move down here more, it comes down to where it starts scanning it even more, gets the color of the actual bones, you know, I mean, if you look real close, you can see the bones. Like I said, the guy said it was smashed at one time, but they're trying to figure out what he actually looks like. Also, you get the, the other uh, color of the, the bones that are coming deeper in from the scan, which they're all spread apart, which the, I guess the, the people said it could have been smashed. But this is an inch and a half in diameter uh, fossil bird, which I believe it is. You know. I'll, Prove that fact of it being a fossil bird because uh, I spoke to a bird biologist lady said that birds are the ones that have wishbones in them so I'll present the wishbone to you here in a second also it was scanned to see how many layers it has in it believed to be maybe 10 to 12 layers in it's dating it back from there from to 250 maybe 225 got micron uh, measurements of the the bone which you can see it's hollow you can see the little where the bones hollow inside and then from right here, we get to the microscope, um, high definition ones where the microscope has a fossil in there and it's transferred to a, a big screen TV, which you can see the eyeball, you can see the big indention of the forehead, perfect structure of the jaw still remaining, remaining structure of the neck in its former position. Then you come to this one, which again, you can see the eyeball, you can see the whole beak of the bird, you can see the fossil really high depth of the uh, horseshoe bones coming down. And then to come down to here, you can furthermore, uh, to get my discovery, starting out that it was like a, a 19 inch uh, bird that was named the Hiroshima Elizabeth that was discovered by a Canadian uh, penny that was the, the, the bone of the claw was the size of a penny, maybe even smaller, but came to it where they put it together and it's similar of um, the small little uh, fossil that I have pointing in this situation. And then you got it to where they concluded to where maybe how small it is, where the, you see the cat try to eat this uh, little creature that is, looks like he's probably maybe seven inches, eight inches tall as observing it. Then you come to right here where it's, I mean myself sculptured this out, got into onto the, to the things showing where birds, uh, Stuff is, you know, I just wrote down where the wishbone is, the 
details of the birds. And then if you come to right here where I found into a book about birds and reptiles, it says uh, at this period, the arteries run in arch-like branches as it to carry blood to branch which are not present in the higher vertebra, though the splits on the sides of the neck still remain marking their former positions, which you can see once again, their neck structure remains its former position, how it shows in the pictures and, and uh, in books. And then also it says right here, sometimes, you know, you know, if you're not prepared to see it, it says you gotta be prepared to, to, to be prepared to see the, the fossil being that small, which I was showing you here, the, the fossil, the Canadian claw that they found in a bird in, in Canada. And it says right here, you know, bird, a lot of people are skeptical of it, but there are birds out there that are this small. And then also I got a, a geologist that everybody was telling me it was igneous, metamorphic rock, finally got to a geologist that studied the minerals in Colorado, stated that it was, um, you know, an iron stone, probably from the late Cretaceous ages, um, 65 million years old, which that was the encasing, it was iron stone, showing the, the fossil, you know, showing the measurements, you know, uh, sample right here, sample right here of the measurements of the fossil itself, and you can see the fossil indented in the middle of it. So he said, furthermore, he doesn't see what, he's not a paleontologist, he need to be seen by a paleontologist, is furthermore what he said. And then if people are with the black and white one, you can actually see the structure of the, of the fossil, you know, how it's pinpointed in the, in the CT scans, where plain as day, you can see the wishbone sitting in the middle of his chest. You can see all the, the hind legs, you know, you can see his front claws, whatever was going on. And then also to, to where I had got the situation where people said, you got to invest your money to get a discovery out there if no one's really interested in helping you. So I came to a conclusion where I started reading, reading up on CT scans and it was saying that these are done by, by a lot of people for getting discoveries out for dinosaurs, that people, things that people do not see in regular scans that are done by x-rays. And it's amazing what you'll get out of a CT scan, which it shows right here, proven fact that this little bird of some type is in this uh, fossil. And once again, if you come to here, I was gonna explain to you about the wishbone. If uh, you could focus in here, once again, you can see the bones right here of his structure of his arms coming down where he smashed the structure of his eyeball lid. Then if you come real close right here and, and examine this little little bone right there, you can see the wishbone, which is uh, showing in the same former position of underneath his neck. The wishbone is sitting right there in the same spot, it's just that bone is scattered from it being smashed. And also this is the Oneida uh, where he was sitting in the CT scan getting done. So. This is pretty much what I could prove to my evidence of uh, this small uh, in creature to be unknown uh, and being an inch and a half in, in a diameter in a rock was fossilized, which determined if it's supposed to be 250 million years old or to be um, 65 million years old, which the iron stone is to be 65 million years old, but to, they're just needing to get a, a carbon dating, but I spoke to a couple paleontologists said that that's not the right thing to be doing this because they could crack it, they could destroy it. It's just uh, more information was done on my phone that got uh, the slices image done. If you've got a minute, I've got it sitting right here. <coughs> if we can get to, these are a situation where you see the, the scan done which is the same thing right here. If you see it, it's scanning through the fossil and then the formation of what was behind there, it does prove to seeing the bones of his forehead, of his skull, and then all everything else coming down. Then also you could see the, it was done, uh, slides to show all the images of how many layers could be possibly in the fossil rock you know it's just determining showing that there is something that needs to be uh, shown to people to see determine how old it is but uh, I do thank you for watching my uh, presentation once again to prove that I do have a discovery out there I do thank you again I hope to, everybody sits and gets a chance to watch the videos and then I will keep you updated thank you